Okay, for this video I'm going to go through the process of installing release levers on your DeWalt brackets. These are Fix My Stand aftermarket release levers, solid plastic, of course going to be a lot stronger than the OEM DeWalts. I'm also using Fix My Stand leaf springs, but of course you can use the OEM spring that is already on your old broken clip. So you don't necessarily need these ones from Fix My Stand, you can go ahead and use the originals that are already on your bracket. Um, if they've broken or you've lost them, then of course we do offer ours and you can purchase those. Now your clips do come, you'll receive them here in uh, pairs. Now in this particular video I'm actually assembling a Fix My Stand rail bracket, but the exercise is going to be exactly the same whether you're using our bracket or you're using DeWalt's yellow bracket. So really what you need to do is you're going to release or remove the original clip from right here. There's a bolt, it's an Allen head and a nut. And you're gonna press down the old clip and remove the bolt and you're gonna remove the nut and then you're just gonna release. And that's gonna pop out that old release lever and the leaf spring. Now, to install the new release levers, the process is the opposite. So I'm going to take the release lever I have here. There's two things to note. There's this little, little nub here, and that's a spring catch. Now, that's designed to catch either the U-shape on the end of the OEM DeWalt spring that's already on your clip, or it can catch just the flat end on the Fix My Stand Super Spring. The other part of this is a little tab inside the bracket, kind of hard to see here because this is a black bracket, but right inside there is a little catch and that's going to catch the other end of the spring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a spring, I'm going to take a release lever, and I'm going to start it like this. I'm going to go ahead and put the spring right inside there like that, and it's, it's caught right behind that nub. I'm going to take the other end of that spring and I'm going to put it right behind the, the little tab on the bracket. And you can kind of see how that's lining up. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to press, I'm going to press down on this bracket and line up those holes there. See? Now I'm going to do that, and at the same time I'm taking this bolt and I'm going to thread it through the holes as I line it up while pressing it down. So it takes two hands here, it takes a little bit of muscle because there is spring tension. So once this bolt is started you might find that it snags on the other end as it's passing through. So when that happens, I'm just going to wiggle the clip while I'm pressing it down, and that's going to get this bolt a little help and have it thread all the way through. Once it passes through the other hole in the bracket, I can... So as I do this, something else you might find useful is I have a drill here. I have an impact already set up with a 5 30 seconds Allen on it. That way, if I can't fish the bolt through, just with my own hand, I can grab this impact and I can use that to help me drive the bolt through. So there I got my spring lined up. I'm going to start back like this. I'm going to press it down. There the holes lined up. And that's it. There you can see it's not going anywhere. The spring here is seated right behind that nub and then inside, you probably see better on this end, but there's a little tab there and the spring's catching the other end of this tab. And now the release lever works. And all I gotta do now is just put the nut on the other side right here. I'm gonna torque it down there's a little bit of a gap here between the side of the bracket and this release lever. I'm going to tighten this nut down and cinch that metal until just barely a piece of paper can fit through the gap on each side. Once you do that, there's absolutely no play in the release lever anymore.